everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm going to show you all how to do video editing on SBCs. So this works very well. I've done it a lot when I'm going on vacation with my bicycle. I take my SBCs with me and I do all the video editing and rendering with SBCs. I used to do this on the Oldroid C2. With that it went very well in 720p. Uh, my last trip I used the Nanopy M4, that one did ok, at 1080p you could even render the videos to 1440p but only 1080p videos could be used. Now I am gonna try to use 1440p videos on the Oldroid N2. So this can also work on the Kados Film 3, but my Kados Film 3 only has got 2GB of RAM while the Oldroid N2 has got 4GB of RAM. And also the Oldroid N2 doesn't need any cooling. But I cannot take the Oldroid N2 with me on vacation. So I would love to have a Kados Film 3 for next year to do my video editing while traveling. So I'm not using my PC right now. The biggest advantage of using an SBC is it doesn't make any noise. My PC is very noisy. So I have to use noise reduction on my voice. So you don't hear the noise in the background. Now I do not need to use that because this doesn't make any noise. So that is really great. Second advantage is it uses a lot less power. So it's a lot more power efficient than a PC. And the third advantage is it's a lot cheaper than buying a PC. So I'm gonna use this video to show you how I do all this. So here we go! First of all, this is how I film myself and how I record my voice. So my camera is attached to my microphone stand and also my microphone is aimed to my face. I do have to yell to have a nice sound curve, but I don't mind. I don't have money for a better microphone. First of all, we've got to install Caden Live and Audacity. Audacity is to record the sound, Caden Live is my video editor. So for that, just type in sudo apt install Caden Live. Audacity. I also install VLC here, it is needed for some things. After installation and when you open Caden Live, it can happen you see this. So this means that there are some programs that are not yet installed that Caden Live needs. So we need to install these. So I use Audacity to record my voice with my microphone. The microphone of my camera isn't good enough for this. So I need to do it like this to have a reasonable good sound. To be able to set the sound and video together I need some help. So for that I clap three times or even more. So as you can see here. I then use these claps to put the video and the audio together at the right spots. Hello everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm going to show you all how to do video editing on SBCs. So I mute the audio from the video, so I only have got one audio channel from my microphone. Then I group these clips so I can edit them at once. Now I can cut away the claps and start editing. So the voiceovers I also do with Audacity. A good trick to reduce the noise is recording a quiet spot at the beginning. Then use that as a default for the noise reduction. So you select that quiet part. You go to noise reduction, get noise profile. And then you select the whole clip and you apply the noise reduction. Something I use a lot are title clips. So that's just text to put over the video. 
So you push this button and you choose title clip. If the video playback in Caden Live isn't that great, there are some tricks to improve this. Trick number one is to lower your display resolution. If you go to 720p compared to 1080p, it will be a lot faster. Second trick is to lower your project resolution. So if you put it to 720p for editing and then you put it higher when you render, then the editing will be a little bit faster. But with some effects this can give problems. Effects like zoom, rotation and crop will not work right if you change the project resolution. Now I can cut away the claps and start editing. When you are finished editing the video, all you need to do is click the render button, choose the right file name and directory to save the video. Be sure to click the more options button and choose the maximum number of threads you can have. I render my videos in mp4. This doesn't take too long and the quality is okay with it. So that's it for today. I will use this project to benchmark my SBCs with Caden Live. I am doing a new run of benchmarks with all my SBCs and I also want a Caden Live benchmark for that. You see it isn't that difficult to edit and render videos, but it does take some time to render of course with an SBC. I will give you all the results in my video about benchmarking SBCs that is coming. So see you all later, I hope you liked my video, thank you all for watching, bye!